At $19.50, you get 18 of them. They are recycled vulcanized rubber. In other words, they are recycled automobile tires. Exactly. You're going to get 12 of the small ones, which are not that small. You're then going to get six of the large, which are really large. And you will probably walk right by them on your deck, your patio, indoors, what have you, and not even know that they're there because they only raise your potted plants up a little bit. But by rising that pot up off the ground, you save your deck. Exactly. Your floor doesn't stain. You don't get the rings that you normally get. And you're benefiting your plant because every pot has a drain hole in it. Right. But when you put it flush on something, it doesn't work. It doesn't. So Welcome back. How are good you? Good to see you. This is Janine Farrell. <laughs> she, she's our garden lady. Yes. So like you just said, they're going to elevate your plants because that's going to help prevent staining. It's going to help prevent rotting. You put that new patty, paper patio in the right. deck. You get that ring mark. You rot your deck. And also simultaneously, it's going to provide better drainage, which helps decrease root rot. Yeah. So here's this planter, this pot sitting right on your tabletop. Okay. Say this were outside. It could mm -hmm. cause all those problems of staining rot but now what I'm going to do sitting right on there nothing underneath it I got three of my larger pot risers right here I'm going to put them together you just have to make sure you balance it out okay yeah, yeah it's so easy to use you put them down and look at that Dan now you can see that it's elevated there's space between it's funny, the table if, but if you didn't plant. look for it you wouldn't notice exactly. it exactly they kind of hover yes it's but not, now your plants will be healthier because they're not sitting in water. Exactly. Not and the only, water can then drain away from the pot. Exactly. So you're not staining your deck. You're right. Not Good. only for your plants, it's for your fountains if you have fountains, for your okay. statuary artwork. And again, I have to say, indoor, outdoor use. So for on your tile and your hardwoods, which I'll get to in a minute. So you want to get this stuff now. You want to yeah. get it while it's still February so that you've got them ready to go when you're ready to move those pots from the garage, back out onto the deck, etc. So you can't see it underneath the bunny. They're invisible feet. They're great. They're mm -hmm. not going to be a distraction from your beautiful plants, your pots, and your artwork. But watch this. When I tilt back this bunny, he's heavy, by the way. And it, you know, you can see them there, but now you can't see it. No distraction. And you know what? They're small, but boy, are they mighty. All right. I, I want to talk to you about this. This is a launch of this particular product. The gentleman who invented it, He's, he's quite the guy. Yes, uh, yeah, Terry's great. In his 70s? Um, you you know what, I'm not, no, I'm not sure when he invented this. I have to be honest with you. He's, he's, just, he's a wonderful guy. Okay, look at how thick these are. These are vulcanized rubber. If your automobile tire can last for 50,000 miles, you're gonna buy these one time and you're never gonna replace them exactly. again. They, you, they do the job. They bring your potted plants up off the ground. By doing that, every potted plant has a drain hole in it. Right. If it sits flush on the ground, you've just negated the idea of the drainage hole and you wind up with your, the roots of your plant just sitting. Whether it's a beautiful little fruit tree like this. By the way, you don't have to pick these up to put these underneath. You're right. Let's show them You that. just tilt. So I'll show you on this one here. So a lot of times you use a planter and then you have a saucer underneath it, especially if you're using them indoors so it right. catches the water. Well, watch this. This is a win-win situation. I'm going to pick up my pot and show you okay. that underneath the pot, between the pot and the saucer, I have three of the larger pot risers. And you get six of the large ones. Exactly. And you get a dozen of the smaller ones. The smaller ones are a quarter of the size. Exactly. Okay. So that right there, putting between the pot and the saucer, that gives you the better drainage. Right. Now, between the saucer and the floor or the tabletop, we're now preventing the rot, the stain, the water marks. Check that out. So yep. that's all I did. So now you're getting even better elevation. So there you go. And then you ju I just put it right back on there. And you know what? When you put them on, you just want to make sure that it's balanced, it's, level and it's balanced. that easy, yep. that's all you have to do. And Dan, you Simple. mentioned, I'll show you up here Over again. 500 sets have been ordered this morning. Yes, it is a very, very simple idea. It's one of those, why didn't yeah. I think of that one myself? Exactly, and you said you don't have to pick it up. So if you already have a you plant have that's really it. big and heavy, all you're doing is tipping it. <coughs> and you're just, go you're, no problem. You're just going around until you get it under there properly. There you go. That's all you're doing. And that's in my way one sec, but you can see that, right? Yeah. Look at that. So again, you can't see them. They're not a distraction. Uh, pick them up now. Uh, we're the first big national retailer to yeah. present them. Exactly. Uh, it, it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. The, the smartest ideas are usually the easiest. Yeah. Vulcanized rubber, all done in recycled tires. Put them out. They're impervious to the weather. 
elevate those plants. Yeah. That's a better way to go. Save you money and save your plants. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> very, very Thank much. Thank you. Great idea. Uh, coming up, we're going to be talking about a brand new uh, wind spinner from Plow and Heart. And they, they are just good, good people. Uh, I had an opportunity. I was down uh, out in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago for the